once red hot cybersecurity space has been a real roller coaster this year. Stocks have been all over the place. Recently, though, they've been on the rebound. So could this be part of a sustained move of a group you like so much? Consider the case of CyberArk Software. That's CYBR. It's the Israeli cybersecurity company that specializes in protecting what are known as privileged or administrator accounts. One of the top targets for hackers because they represent the keys of the digital kingdom. You open these, you can open everything. Back in July, CyberArk pre-announced some much weaker than expected second quarter numbers, causing the stock to lose 16% of its value in a single session. It was brutal. But lately, the things have been turned around. When CyberArk reported again earlier this month, it delivered a six-cent earnings beat off of a 19-cent basis, higher than expected revenue, up nearly 18% year-over-year. Companies getting a lot of business from Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, which were weaker last time. Even better, the company gave strong guidance for both the next quarter and the full year. That's why the stock jumped uh, back to 11% on, on the news. So you have to ask, can it keep climbing? Let's check in with Udi Makati. He's the founder, chairman, CEO of CyberArk Software. Get a better sense of how this company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. McCarty, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you. Good to see you. Good, Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. Have a seat. Back. Thank you. So it looks like when you pre-announced, you gave very specific uh, concerns about Europe, and then it, they all got solved because Europe was what? Well, Europe was stronger than the U.S. Yeah, we were pleased with uh, with Q3. We still believe it's a long-term process right. of globalizing the sales force. So we're still working progress there, but we were pleased. Now I saw some customers that you talked about that make so much sense. You know, we had that wanna cry situation, and it really affect the, a lot of national health systems. So you got a very big hospital chain. Now that's got to be because people just said, listen, we can't have this happen to us. Oh, absolutely. They view themselves as a target. And right. uh, this is a, this was an example of a hospital that made CyberArk and privilege account security a critical layer that they want in place across all systems. So they actually jumped on board with all layers of security. Now, well, how do you get that account? Does that account see something in the papers and say, wow, we could be in trouble? Or are you calling all these accounts and saying, listen, they're targeting hospitals? We're very much a proactive security uh, okay. uh, layer. So we, we, we actually keep in touch with the industry. We're very close to chief security officers, and we have a good reference customer base with the customers that we have in place. So we're, we're, we're there uh, when the call is ready. We also prospect and, and uh, control right. our destiny. In, now, in our this market. transportation company, 300,000 de 300, deaths. I mean, now here's some, this must be a marquee account. Yeah, this is a, a major, uh, I would say, Fortune 500 account. Uh, 300,000 uh, endpoints that was severely hit by ransomware. And so CyberArk here uh, is an example of us preventing the next one right. with uh, proactive security there on the endpoint. All right, so what's the new way to pay ransomware? Is it still Bitcoin now that it's going up so much? It's very much still uh, Bitcoin. It is Bitcoin. Yeah. Now, because, you know, we had Square on last week, and uh, Sarah Fires, the treasurer, the uh, CFO, and she was saying, well, listen, there are a lot of accounts that want to trade this, uh, but don't make it that that's our thing. But then Jack Dorsey, the CEO, said, listen, this is what they want. Now, I mean, Someone is making a lot of money on this. Now, obviously, there's nothing you can do. You're trying to stop it. But they're still dialing 1 800, whatever, and paying the Bitcoin. We're, we're trying to prevent it. We right. work with enterprises who are mostly trying to combat it. But right. we do see, especially small organizations, often succumb to the ransom wow. and, and pay off. And now, uh, con you bought Conjure. Uh, now, this helps with cloud. Yeah, it was a strategic acquisition in, in May, really expanding us to those applications that are moved off to the cloud. The, the modern ways to develop called DevOps. It's a, it's a unique evolution revolution in IT that we're jumping on. Well, why it, was the cloud relatively uncovered? The cloud was relatively uncovered, really? and, and especially DevOps is a place where the developers are coding and it's moving fast because it supports right. the top line over the organization and security is running behind. So here we are allowing them to secure as they code. Wow, so, people have been hacking that? It's a, it's, a, it's a new frontier for hackers, but when you go into cloud, you can get everything. Now, you got a major pharmaceutical chain. I have always felt that they could be vulnerable, but they weren't spending enough. If you get one, will you get all? We totally agree. They weren't spending right. enough. It was a sector that was behind, and they do talk to each other, especially on security, and we're finding that. So when we have we have several uh, uh, marquee accounts there, I would say, uh, uh, you know, many around the world, right. uh, and when they go strategic with Cybrock, they talk to each other and can help us in the long term. You know, it sounds like we started with bank, went to retail, but now these verticals are not easily thought of as being things that would be hacked, but they're getting hacked. They're all, they all perceive themselves as a target these days. It wasn't the case. It used to be just the banks, but the retail government is, is spending on, uh, on, on security and manufacturing is also on, on board. How much is state sponsored? How much is bad guys? We don't attribute because it's really flaky. Sometimes right. they could use code that was uh, leaked from uh, NSA and they use it as an attack point. But really, it's all I mean, of the above. You know, when, we, like, when we heard that North Korea was designated, I, I figured that they must be out there trying to get 
money this way. There, there have been cases. I mean, there are some that associate them with the blank Bangladesh bank attack. Yes. They've been associated with DDoS uh, attacks. There are geopolitical tensions, increased cybercrime. Wow. And can you stop them? We can't stop them, but we can help with cyber hygiene to make sure that uh, you can catch a cold, but it won't bring you down. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the best way to look at it. That's Udi Makati, founder, chairman, and CEO of CyberArk. We've seen the whole arc of who they're going for. Now it's everybody. Mad Money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.